Hey friends, and welcome back to the Building a Church Farm video series. And we are still building the infrastructure of the farm, and it's, we're making great progress. It's been great. And I want to begin by thanking all the volunteers who came out last Saturday. It was cold and, and rainy, and it was really muddy, but you came out there, you were joyful volunteers, and uh, you were willing to dig in and get dirty. We, and basically, we were clearing out all of the area where the garden rows would be. It's a really big area. It's 90 by 60 feet. That's part of the, the phase one we have going on here. And I'm talking stone and brick and the leftover garden beds from the previous community, community garden. Uh, I'm talking the, the fabric that was underneath all of the, the years of gravel and mulch and dirt. That stuff was hard to get up and you did it. Thank you so much for that. We also took apart the, the old workstation in the middle of the garden. We took that apart uh, and then we set it up next to the shed so we can continue using that. We wanna make sure that we save that. And so we're really excited for that. And we found a place for the greenhouse. We haven't built the greenhouse, but we had to build the platform first. And so the platform is, is where the greenhouse is going to be situated between the, the trailer and the shed. You may be thinking that might not be good for the shadows, but the, the sun rises east to west, so they tell me. And so it's going to just hit the sun just right. It's going to go right over top of it. So that's really the perfect place for it. Uh, and so we did all of that in preparation for this past week. Uh, and it, let me go back here. There was a, a preschool parent who heard what we were doing and volunteered his help. And he runs a landscaping company. And for a very reduced price, he sent some of his employees over to take all of that, that dirt that was there for the previous community garden and to move that around and to spread it out you know, over that 90 by 60 foot space. And because it, there had been so much rain, there's been so much rain this month, it was very muddy. And let me tell you, I watched them work. The struggle was real. They, they worked hard moving all of that dirt around and God bless them, they, they were able to do it. It took them all day, um, but, but it looks great. And it's much more level. And then this week we also had the soil and the compost delivered. There were eight truck, or excuse me, five truckfuls, uh, and, and five is still quite a bit. Uh, and you know, <laughs> you may think, well, I don't know how much it is. Let me tell you, let me assure you, it is a lot. And so they were able to uh, spread some of that around. Unfortunately, the truck that was delivering the truck broke down and couldn't get it all there in time. And so we still have a lot set up there. So this week, we're going to focus on moving all that soil and all that compost and spreading out all that over the 90 by 60 foot area. Uh, we also this week got the gravel that will be underneath the greenhouse. We're going to spread that out. It will kind of come out from, from each side of the greenhouse and, and it will sit on the platform. Shout out to Dennis Farr who built the platform for the greenhouse that the greenhouse will sit on along with the gravel. Uh, he did that for us last weekend. And so it's been a really busy week at the farm. We're still moving forward and still making great progress. And I'm so excited. Uh, this week, we are hoping to get all of that soil and all of that compost spread out by next weekend. We're hoping to build the greenhouse. And we have seedlings in a couple of different places. Uh, we have a friend down the road who's got some seedlings for us. Uh, we also, Julia, our farm manager, uh, found some space at the uh, one of the greenhouses at Airly Gardens. And we have some seedlings that are growing there. And so when we get that greenhouse set up next weekend, we can move all that in. And in time, very soon actually, we can begin planting that in the garden rows. Uh, also this week, we have an electrician coming out for the pump. And so we're really excited to report all of this progress to you. We hope you have a great week. Thank you for following along. And again, if we're, we're building a volunteer list. Uh, and some of you have told me that you wanted to volunteer and it's possible that I, I've missed your name. So um, we're building a volunteer list. If you want to volunteer in the future with the planting and the weeding, and everything that goes into it, let us know. And we want to make sure that, we're, that you're on the list. And Julia will begin emailing you to let you know when the volunteer dates will be. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next week.